Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I've got something that I'm really, really excited about. Um, if you're anything like me, uh, you regard your caravan uh, as your pride and joy. It's probably the third biggest investment after your house and your car. So you're gonna do everything you possibly can to protect it, especially a twin axle caravan. And that's where today's product comes in. Uh, it's been complete, it's a brand new design, brand new lock for twin axle caravans and twin axle trailers. So let's go inside the caravan and we'll have a little look. I'd just like to start off by thanking Purple Line for sending me their new product. It's specifically designed for twin axle caravans and twin axle trailers. It does come with a five year guarantee. With this lock, there's no need for jacking your caravan up or aligning wheels as you'll see when we go outside and demonstrate it. But first, let's have a little look inside the box. Right, here we go, here's the contents of the, of the box. You've got your carry bag, your five year warranty card, your instruction manual, the lock itself, and then all the receivers and locking nuts, which we'll go through now. The outer sleeve of the locks, the inner sleeve of the lock, You've got 50 of these one millimeter spacers, your Allen key, you've got six keys, three for each lock, which are either side there. You've got the M12 long ad um, wheel adapter receiver, and you've got the short M12 receiver. You've also got your torque wrench 19 millimeter adapter, as you can see there. So that's the contents of the box. Let's head out on outside. Right, so before you can fit the Gemini lock, you will need, as I said earlier, you will need a torque wrench and you need to remove two of your wheel nuts. So what they suggest is you pick the two nearest each other. So the nearest that are lined either way, the closest two, you remove those two. So we'll do that now. When you torque wrench, you usually get a 19 millimeter or a 21 millimeter socket. In my case, it's 19 millimeter. So set your torque to which direction you want. In this case, you want it to undo your nut. Onto your nut. And there you go. So once you've undone both of the bolts, both nuts, you then want to fit your receivers. Now my alloy wheels are not really, the nuts on my alloy wheels are not really that deep set. So I've gone for the shorter one. In some cases, the, the alloy wheels, are, the nuts are quite deep set. So you'd have to choose which one is best for you. In my case, it's this one. So all you do is start it off until it's hand tight. Then you go back to your torque wrench, change the setting. Now, when you put in this receiver bolt, you need to check your caravan's um, wheel nut torque settings. You usually find it on the side of the plate, at the side of your door. If it isn't there, then you can always go to the manufacturer's website. They'll have a support page where you should be able to find that information out. So once you've screwed that in hand tight, the receiver, you'll need this bit, as you can see there. So what you do then, you slot that in there, into the receiver, and in my case it's 130 Newton meters. So you just tighten that up until you hear the clicks. Hear the click? So you know that that now is at the correct torque settings. The next stage of the process is you need to insert your locks. And if you can see on the side there, there's a little grub screw and there's a groove on the side of the lock. I hope you can see that. You need to line that up, 
push your lock in, line it up so it goes all the way to the end and then that's where your little allen key comes in. So double check it's uh, all lined up, allen key in, a few turns, nice and gentle. You need to do this hand tight. There you go, there you go, that's it, it's done. So at this point, what you need to do is you get 50 washers, one millimetre washers. So you offer this up to the lock and see if your key turns. If it doesn't, if it doesn't, you need to put a spacer in. And there's some, there can be a little bit of play between here and your wheel. You don't really want that play. And that's where the washers come in to make it a nice tight snug fit. So I'll just offer this up to the lock, see if it works. So that's now in the open position. Offer it up to the lock, turn the key, out with the key, and there you go. Nice and snug, nice, tug, nice snug fit. To open the lock, there's a little notch, there's a little notch on the key. That goes in the little groove, turn the key, and pull off. Very, very easy. And you do the same with the other side. So if they don't line up, you can just twist it until they do, as you can see there. So once you've decided which receiver on, you do the same on both wheels, remove the nut, put your receiver in, torque it up to your manufacturer's torque settings, which you'll find on the side of the door, off the lock up, turn the key, make sure it's a nice snug fit. If it isn't, use the spacers. So you might have to do this two or three times, undoing the grub screw taking the lock out and slipping a spacer on. So like I say, mine only took one spacer and it works absolutely perfect. Nice snug fit, very easy to take on and off. So I'll just fit the whole, uh, both sides now for you so you can see that. So here you go, both receivers in, both torqued up to 130 newton meters. You just offer the lock up, push it in, Turn the key, turn the key, and there you go, one secure lock. Very, very easy, very easy to put on, and very, very secure. So there you have it, that was the full stop Gemini lock from Purple Line. I'll put some spec up here for you um, while I give you my thoughts. First impressions, excellent lock, extremely well made, extremely robust. Very simple to fit, um, clear instructions, didn't come across any problems whatsoever um, and I'm really really impressed with it and would I recommend it? Yes I would. Um, I'll put links in the description where you can buy this product um, and that just leaves me to say if you found this video useful please give us a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, help the channel grow and that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching, see you next time, ta -ra.